Steve, were you able to check in with Steph after the yeah, game? Yeah. How, how is he? He's doing okay. Um, he said it was, um, I think he used the word uh, mild or moderate. Um, he's obviously sprained that ankle many times before. So he doesn't think it's um, too bad, but um, obviously, you know, it's a concern. He's going to get an MRI tonight. What were the conversations bes between you and Steph and you and the training staff between the first time that he tweaked it and then before sending it I back didn't, up? I didn't have any conversations. Um, the tr when the training staff needs to um, tell me something, they come and tell me something. So um, I, didn't, I didn't talk to him. What did you think of, uh, I guess, how you guys climbed back and then what went wrong late? I, uh, yeah, I loved our fight. I, loved, I thought Loon came in and um, just um, lit a fire under us. Um, I thought that was the first time the whole night that we really competed um, at both ends. I thought um, you know, Clippers came in, and I give them a lot of credit. They were great defensively, uh, forced a lot of turnovers, uh, really got into us. Um, and we didn't handle um, the pressure very well. Turned it over way too many times. Um, so um, you know we've got to we've got to understand it's um, most games are you know like this like they're they're going to come down to handful of possessions and if you give ten possessions away um, it's going to be really hard to win. And I thought we gave ten possessions away. Steve, what did you think of your closing five pods, buddy Looney, J.K. Wiggins, and their fight at the end? Yeah, they did a great job. Of um, I think we got it to within one, if I'm not mistaken. Um, we had our our chances. Um, they hit a couple big shots, and um, you know they they deserved to win that game. If you know if we had been able to come back and and win, it would have been fantastic. But um, the right team won the way they competed, and and especially coming off a of back to back, being in Denver yesterday. Uh, the Clippers were uh, were fantastic, and, um, and we were not. Can I check if I missed something? Did Draymond have a tweak? He wasn't part of your closing five. No, no, we just went with a group that was, um, you know, playing well. Steve, if uh, uh, Steph isn't able to go, who do you turn to offensively? I don't know. We'll see. I mean, you know, Wiggs is off to a great start and um, had a big night tonight. Um, He's a, an obvious candidate to, uh, you know, get the ball to more. And, uh, but we've, we've got a deep team. We've talked about it. Um, so we've got a lot of guys who can play. We'll, we'll, we'll be ready. Steve, you guys had some trouble inside with Zubac. I mean, is this yeah. size and just what are the ways you can kind of combat that? Zubac is a hell of a player. He's, he's gotten better and better, um, you know, 23 and 17 tonight. Um, every time they needed uh, a bucket. Um, they seem to get one from him. So, um, yeah, I mean, there's there's uh, you, there's ways you can try to com combat it. You can double team. Um, you know, you can uh, try to deny him the ball in the post. But uh, a lot of the stuff he got was, um, you know, loose balls, um, you know, playing off of Harden and Powell and, um, you know, just finishing. He did a great job. Oh, Steve, uh, obviously things change from game to game. What's your level of commitment to the 12-man Thing. Is that more just a, a short-term kind of experiment? Well, tonight or? it was 11, really, because, um, you know, I only went to, to Kyle for four minutes. Um, and uh, he was amazing the second half on the bench, um, leading everybody, you know, talking to guys. Um, that's what you have to have if, if you're going to do this and play a lot of people. Every, everyone's got to be on board, and I, I couldn't have been more impressed by Kyle's um, professionalism. And uh, But every game's going to be a little different. And, um, you know, like, like I said the other night, um, when we win, I think my uh, somebody texted me. It's like, you know, hey, 12, 12 guys, it's it's a real democracy. And I said, as soon as we lose, it's going to be communism. So <laughs> that's the truth. It's just you know the the the, the results uh, dictate um, you know the the judgment, and that's that's the business we're in. So I've got to do what I think is best for our team, and um, generally speaking, that. Um, that changes throughout the year in an 82-game season. So we have to be ready to adapt. But I like I like the commitment that the guys have made. Steve, you brought up the turnovers. I think it was 21 turnovers, 19 assists. What got in the way after the, the ball movement really humming the first two games? 
Well, number one, their their defense. Clippers were great defensively, um, but we got really loose with the ball, and um, we made some uh, some careless plays. And they're a very athletic team, uh, very well coached, and uh, so they they were in spots uh, to bother us. And um, but like I said, I thought there were about ten possessions of um, unforced turnovers, and and um, and that's on all of us. Um, me too. Me, you know, myself included. To to. Make sure we're executing and you know, um, getting our getting our work in to, to to be able to execute under duress. It was pretty clear that Buddy was in boldface on the scouting report. I mean, they were all over him, and he didn't really get a break until Steph came and joined him. Is that something you anticipated that maybe when that happens, putting him with Steph kind of breaks up the uh, opposing defense a little bit? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're going to be a great combination. To, um, you know, Buddy, this was the first. Uh, First tough shooting night, buddy has had. Uh, even in the preseason, I think he was uh, lights out. So uh, there's going to be nights where the ball doesn't go in, but um, buddy's going to finish a lot of games for us, and obviously Steph will finish, you know, any close game. So they'll be together quite a bit. A lot of Kaminga shots right now are kind of, you know, threes or, or, or mid range. Like, what do you need from him, or what do you guys need to do to kind of unlock, particularly some of his downhill stuff at the rim stuff? Yeah, I mean, it, it's uh, last year we we obviously played smaller um, with JK at the four and Draymond at the five, and so he had a lot more space. And, and this year we're we're obviously trying to uh, to play bigger, which puts him at the three, but. Um, you know, it's not a, a great spacing lineup. So we've got to, um, again, we've got to execute better in the half court, um, especially against a great defense like the Clippers have. And uh, that's on us to put in the work. And as we do that, um, you know, he, he'll, I'm sure he'll he'll come around. His shot will come around. He shot it great, you know, in the preseason. And um, we know he's very capable. Coach, you went to the 12 men in the first half. You didn't play Kyle in the second half. Do you think that's a pattern that might emerge as the first close game, obviously, that you've had to where you might play 12 in the first and then kind of see what's working and narrow it it's down? It's definitely the easier half. to play 12 in the first and see where, where the game is. So maybe that happens, but maybe we uh, play like we did in Utah and Portland and all 12 play. Who, who knows? Steve, uh, how much do you like the Andrew Wiggins' aggressive hate? A Ted Reed, he was area. Yeah, he was great. Wiggs had a big night. Um, loved his uh, confidence, his aggressiveness. He's feeling good about his game. Really prepared himself well this summer, and um, he's going to have a big year. Thanks.